Is that a triple? <laughs> become like the new mascot. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Great, so I mean, what can you share about what will resonate well with viewers of this film? Well, here's what I can tell you. If you're a Scooby fan, this is for you. If you're a Kiss fan, this is also for you. You know, I am... Um, the biggest compliment I've heard so far uh, I got from Gene, who said when he finished watching it, he said, I really kept the integrity of both groups. I think the, the fear is that perhaps one will get lost in the shadow of the other, or you'll dumb one down to match it. And I never wanted to do that. And both these properties mean so much to me that I thought they, they could each have their own movie, but since we're bringing them together, let's give them equal time and really just nail this. So what was your biggest challenge? Um, not making it an eight-hour movie because I want to spend so much time with these guys, but, um, you know, there's so much you can do with uh, this, this possibility with just narrowing it down to what. And, you know, I'd love to do another one of these, so maybe some of those ideas can be moved into other films as well. I don't know. Absolutely. I was going to say, is there anything that didn't make the cut that you really wish Yeah, to there's all... There's all you know, you don't want to go too crazy because as much as people be like, oh, you know, we've seen that in Scooby, there are certain tropes that you want, you would miss if you didn't have them in a Scooby-Doo movie. So you want to keep it in line with what people expect. But yeah, you can go so many, this goes pretty crazy. So we didn't hold back. Um, so we'll see, you know, yes, there's plenty of ideas to do others. So can you talk a little bit about how the music and animation go hand in hand? Well, what was great about this was when I was writing it, I didn't worry myself with, oh, what if we don't get the rights to this? Or what if we can't use that? I thought, let's just do it and then see what happens. And I used every classic song I could think of. Um, and when it was all over, we went to them and, I, you know, a writer's nightmare, like, we're going to have to rewrite all this. And they said, use whatever you want. And so not only did we get all these awesome classic songs, but I wrote an opportunity for a new song that I thought um, we'd probably get another band to do. And at the end of the day, they were like, no, we'd love to do this. So, so they, you got all these classic songs and a one original. And Paul H. Here at Comic Con. I know. Come on, pinch me. <laughs> so exciting. Well, thank you so much for taking time to speak with me. I thank you. It. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime.